Hey there, makers, April Dunham here. In this video, I'm going to cover one of the brand new Dataverse for Teams template called the Milestones template. If you're looking for a way to help manage your projects and day-to-day -day activities for yourself or for your team, then this is a template for you. I'll walk you through exactly what it does, how you can install it, and we'll discuss where you might want to use this versus, say, other project management tools like Planner. All this and more, coming up. So first, let's do a quick run through of how to install this template in your environment. You'll open up Microsoft Teams, click on the apps icon in the left rail, do a search for milestones. And this is the one we want, the milestones by Microsoft Corporation. So we'll select it and click add to a team. Find the team that you want to use this for, select it from the dropdown and click set up a tab. Choose whether you want to post to the channel about this new application, then click save. This will kick off the setup process, so just sit back and relax for a few minutes while it runs through and installs the Milestones template for you. All right, so the template is successfully installed, and like all of these Dataverse Routines templates, it's going to provide you with some sample data to get started and to get a feel for what the application does. So at the heart of it, the Milestones template is a project management tool. So on the left here, we have our projects. So we have one system deployment project created, and within that project, we could have different milestones and then tasks for each milestone that we track. So from this summary screen, when we have a project selected, we can see a dashboard of the milestone statuses. So we have three different milestones for this particular one. We have research, deployment, and feedback. So I can see the percentage of completion for each milestone, as well as the number of tasks in different phases. So if I hover over this one, for example, I can see that I have one item that's in an in-progress status within the research milestone. Now you'll see a drop down next to the milestone status though. So if we click that, we can change from milestone status to team status. This will give me a breakdown of everyone that has something assigned to within the task in this particular project, where they're at. So I can see Jamie, for example, has one task that is blocked, and another that's done. I really love this template because as I said in the previous video, when I covered the bulletins template, these are great ways to learn how to do things and to get ideas for apps that you might want to build. So even if you don't have a need for a project management system within Dataverse for Teams, you can learn a lot of things from this template. On the right, you'll also notice we have an activity log. So every time that a status is changed or you might add notes or something is assigned, that gets logged here into the activity log section so that you can see all the history of what's going on for this particular project. I see when something was assigned and when status changed. I can post new updates to the activity log by clicking this new update button that opens up a modal dialog for me and I can choose the work item that I want to post an update for. So maybe I have an update on training. And then I can type in the description what my update is. So maybe I have the training scheduled and I want to post an update. So I type that in, click create, and that gets posted there to the activity feed. To get more real estate on the screen, another nice feature that they added here was the ability to collapse down this activity log by clicking this button there. The tracking section below is where you'll have all of your tasks so you can see what the work item is, what milestone it falls under, the status, the priority, who it's assigned to, the target date for completion, and you can associate it with a category. So if I need to add a new work item, I can click new work item. We get a form that pops up so we can assign it to a particular team member, track it to a milestone, define a status, category, priority, target date, and description and name, of course. So just click create and that'll show up here. To manage these, we have a built-in filter. So this icon in the middle right here on the right-hand side will pop up a panel so that we can filter based off of milestones. So I can see just the deployment milestone items that filters a list for me. And I can go back into the filter and add additional filters by category, priority, team member, and status. And you can clear any filters you have by clicking this clear button. There's also a search built-in. So you click the search icon there and I can quickly search by the work item. 
Another nice thing that they added here is the ability to mass delete work items. So I can select with these checkboxes the items that I want to delete, click the trash can. It shows a dialogue asking me if I'm sure that I want to delete these items. And I have to click a checkbox that I understand to actually go forward with deleting that, which is a nice feature as well. Something that we could use in almost any application that we want to build. So click I understand, then delete. It removes both of the items from the work items. And just like all these Dataverse for Teams templates, the data is stored in the Dataverse for Teams tables within Teams. Now, if we need to add a new project to track, we can select this new project option. So this is where we would define the project and what milestones that we want to track. So maybe we have a project for a timesheet, for a timesheet power up. So I might have that in different milestones that we might define. So we can have one for requirements maybe, another for development, maybe one for testing. Let's add a milestone for deployment. For each of these milestones, we can choose the due date. We have this nice calendar control that I really like as well. We can easily switch between the months here and we can color coordinate these. So if I click this little icon, I can choose the color to associate with the milestone so that I can see it better visually in the dashboard. All right, so let's click next here. And now we can choose our project members. So anyone that we would assign tasks to or are involved in the project in any way, we can add them here. So now if we click create, that will add our new project and we can start tracking tasks for these milestones. Some additional things that we have to configure when we have a project created, if you notice here on the right hand side, we can designate a banner image by clicking on this icon here. We can add our own or choose one of the pre-built ones. So just select the image, click done. This is where we can go and change anything. So if we need to change the name of the project, add additional milestones, change the milestones, remove some, add team members, all of that, we can do that here. Other settings that we need to get to are the global settings. So you notice that we had in the projects, we could tag these for a category. So we had development, IT, training, purchasing, all of that. This is where we could override those categories, priorities, and statuses. So per each project, which is pretty cool, we can have different categories and priorities and statuses. What's also nice if we click into one of these, if I wanted to change this category for IT, it just turns that into an editable text. So I can remove that, overwrite it, and easily change it that way. And then all I have to do once I'm done is click save. So as you can see, all of this is just so configurable and easy to use. So let's click save for this project. And now that's applied. So we can go back and start tracking work items. So we have our milestone here and then the status. So there's category, we change that to information technology, if you remember. So we'll add a task for get requirements and click create. For the projects, we can click the sort button and filter those either ascending or descending by project name. And of course, we have a search here. This little hamburger icon in the left hand side will collapse and condense the project so that you have more screen real estate. So I've showed an overview of how to install it and how it works. Now let's address where you might want to use this. So we all know that there's a bunch of project management tools out there. So where would you use this milestones template versus say something like planner, you might use planner already like I do to track your task and all of that. Planner definitely has its place and I'm a big fan of that. But where I see this milestones templates being a good fit is when you want more control and customization of your project management or task management tool. Since this is built on Dataverse for Teams, that means that behind the scenes, you're getting a relational database that you have complete control over. So not only does this mean that you have complete control to customize it, it also means that you have unfiltered access to the data. One of the things with Planner is it's kind of hard to access the data. You can get to it through the user interface, but if you want to get to it through the back end, it's not particularly easy. But with this template, since it's in Dataverse for Teams, it's super simple. So it really comes down to the fact that you completely own the data and have complete control over the customization of it. All right, well, that's all that I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you'll find some good use cases for this milestone template. Did you find this helpful? If so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, like, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.